And once again, our friends at Chick-fil-A and Advent Health for Children bring you another Christmas blessing. It can feel so isolating when you're going through something, especially when you're a teenager. I'm really grateful that today we get a chance to meet Maddie, who's 16 years old, who's brave enough to share her story. I feel like I started struggling during COVID because I was home alone a lot because mom still had to work. And I think like being alone really like put me through it struggling wise. So in eighth grade, I went to a therapist and she was like a great person to talk to, but I feel like I had no progress. After probably trying four medications, I left there. Advent Health really changed a lot because then we went to Caroline with Advent Health and I loved her. Started one medication with the psychiatrist, Dr. Chabot, and talked to him. He was so helpful and walked me through like a lot of like why I was feeling a certain way. Mom, did they give her a diagnosis? Kind of like a mood disorder. You know, even with medication, she was struggling and it wasn't until she went to camp over the summer. Yeah, I went to a passion camp in Daytona. I was there. Really? I was. I loved it. Passion camp really did a lot for me. I really don't think I would be like where I am without it. I learned a lot about God and I think it helped me with my worth and like knowing I'm worth it and like I'm here for a reason. That makes me so happy because that is a message that I want you to remember every day. It's a message that I need to be reminded of every day and only God can do that for us. As a mom of teenagers myself, I imagine, Michelle, for you, watching Maddie go through this, couldn't have been easy. I think because I never really went through that as a kid, and what she was going through was real, and I couldn't fix it. I really was doing a lot of research on my own to try to find her the right people, so finding Caroline was good for me because I've seen progress. Mm -hmm. To her laying in the bathroom and can't get up because she doesn't know why. And now she loves herself more. I mean, she's done really good with Advent Health. When I tell you, I was beginning to worry about like leaving her home alone. We made it through it. There is hope. You just have to not give up. There is always hope. And I'm so proud of you, Maddie, for sharing your story. And I know listening right now, there are other friends your age that feel stuck that feel isolated? I would say don't stop trying. Your lows are your lows, but keep trying because it will be worth it in the end. Find like breathing techniques, I really think for panic attacks because I struggled with this so bad. And try to get in touch with God. I really think that's really important. Knowing that you're loved and that you're here for a reason and you have a place on this earth. And for some people, it might mean getting medical help. And so we have resources on our website at zradio.com. Our friends at Chick-fil-A would like to give Give you a Christmas blessing. These presents are for you. <gasps> Yay! I really need some new converse. <laughs> Makeup plus presents for mom and grandma too. And free Chick-fil-A for a year for your family. No way. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I'm in love. And they heard that you love theater. Tickets for opening night to see Moulin Rouge at the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> so on behalf of Chick-fil-A and Advent Health for Children, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome.